Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on plastic analysis. In this continuous beam, we have to find the collapse load. In this continuous beam, there are three spans span AB, span BC, and span CD. All the three spans have the length L. First, let us take the span AB. In the span AB, we have a point load W in the center. In this span, in the point A, there will be no plastic hinge because it is a simply supported end. In the joint B, we will have a plastic hinge and under the point load, we will have another plastic hinge. So, in this span, there will be only two plastic hinges. Now, let us take this span and make the first mechanism. Let us keep the virtual displacement under the load as delta. Let us keep this angle as theta 1, this angle as theta 2. So, this angle should be theta 1 plus theta 2. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, tan theta 1 is equal to delta upon L upon 2. We can take L upon 2 inversely and then multiply with a delta. When we do that, we will get 2 delta upon L. The value of tan theta 1 will be very small. So, tan theta 1 will be approximately equal to theta 1. In this case, we can take theta 1 is equal to 2 delta upon L. From that, we will get delta which is equal to theta 1 L upon 2. In the span AB, we have centrally applied point load. Because of that, we have a symmetrical triangle. Since this triangle is symmetrical, theta 1 should be equal to theta 2. Now let us find the internal work done. Under the load W, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta 1 plus theta 2. In the point B, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta 2. Then we have to add these two. We know that theta 2 is equal to theta 1. So for theta 2, we can apply theta 1. After adding these two, we are getting the internal work done, which is equal to 3 MB theta 1. Now let us find the external work done. For that, we have to multiply the load W with the virtual displacement delta. For delta, we can apply theta 1 L upon 2. This is the external work done. Now let us equate external work done and internal work done. We can eliminate theta 1. We can take L upon 2 on the other side. 2 into 3, we will get 6. Finally, for the collapse load WC, we are getting 6 MB upon L. Now let us take the span BC. In the span BC, we have an eccentric point load W. It is acting at the distance of L upon 3 from the joint B. In this span, in the joint B, there will be a plastic hinge. In the joint C, there will be another plastic hinge. Under the load W, there will be third plastic hinge. Now let us take this span and do the second mechanism. Similar to the first mechanism, let us keep the virtual displacement under the load as a delta. Let us keep this angle as theta 1, this angle as theta 2. So this angle should be theta 1 plus theta 2. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, tan theta 1 is equal to delta upon L upon 3. We can take L upon 3 inversely 
and then multiply with the delta. When we do that, we will get this. We know that tan theta 1 will be approximately equal to theta 1. In this case, we can take theta 1 is equal to 3 delta upon L. From that, we will get delta which is equal to theta 1 L upon 3. Now, let us take this triangle. In this triangle, tan theta 2 is equal to delta upon 2L upon 3. We can take 2L upon 3 inversely and then multiply with the delta. When we do that, we will get 3 delta upon 2L. We know that tan theta 2 will be approximately equal to theta 2. So, for theta 2, we can take this value. For delta, we can apply this. We can eliminate 3 and L. Theta 1 upon 2, we will get 0 0.5 theta 1. So, theta 2 is equal to 0 0.5 theta 1. Now, let us find the internal work done. In the point B, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta 1. Under the point load, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta 1 plus theta 2. Finally, in the point C, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta 2. Then, we have to add these three. For theta 2, we can apply 0 0.5 theta 1. After adding these three, we are getting the internal work done which is equal to 3 MB theta 1. Now let us find the external work done. For that we have to multiply the load W with the virtual displacement delta. For delta we can apply theta 1 L upon 3. This is the external work done. Now let us equate the external work done and the internal work done. We can eliminate theta 1 and we can take L upon 3 on the other side. 3 into 3 we will get 9. Finally for WC we are getting 9 MB upon L. Now let us take the span CD. In the span CD we have Centrally applied point load 2W. In this span, in the joint C, there will be a plastic hinge. Under the point load, there will be a plastic hinge. In the point D, there will be no plastic hinge because it is a simply supported end. Now, let us take this span and make the third mechanism. Now let us take this triangle. In this triangle, theta 1 is equal to 2 delta upon L. From that, we will get delta which is equal to theta 1 L upon 2. Due to the symmetrical nature of this triangle, theta 1 will be equal to theta 2. Now let us find the internal work done. In the point C, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta 1. Under the point load, we have a plastic hinge. We have to multiply MB with the angle theta 1 plus theta 2. Then we have to add these two. For theta 2, we can apply theta 1. After adding these two, we will get the internal work done which is equal to 3 MB theta 1. Now let us find the external work done. For that we have to multiply the load with the virtual displacement delta. For delta we can apply theta 1 L upon 2. This is the external work done. Now let us equate the external work done and the internal work done. We can eliminate theta 1. Also, we can eliminate 2. We can take L on the other side. It will come in the denominator. Finally, for the collapse load WC, 
we are getting 3 mb upon l we have found the collapse load wc three times in the mechanism 1 in the mechanism 2 and in the mechanism 3 we have to select the minimum value out of these three 3 mb upon l is the minimum value so the mechanism 3 is the real mechanism and the collapse load is 3 mb upon l now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video